What's up guys, this lamp features tons of cool colors and effects and features, and you guessed it, it works with a home kit. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me. For those new here, my name is Shane and on this channel I'm building an easy smart home using HomeKit. So if you're into HomeKit and smart home technology, be sure to subscribe. Click the bell icon because I'm posting new HomeKit videos every Sunday right here. Today we've got another HomeKit product review. Today we're talking about the Xiaomi bedside lamp 2. Now I'll put affiliate links down in the description below if you want to check this lamp out for yourself. I actually was sent this lamp from banggood.com. This video is not sponsored by them or Xiaomi or anybody. Uh, they just sent me the product. So thank you to Banggood for sending that. If you're not familiar with Banggood, it's basically one of these international commerce sites where you can order all kinds of products and have it shipped from pretty much anywhere in the world. And uh, so the cool thing is that you can actually get products that might not be available in your area. For example, a lot of people on Instagram have seen this and asked me about this. This is a little Acara wireless switch that is not available from Amazon in the US, but you can order this from banggood.com. And you can also find pretty good deals on stuff sometimes there. Uh, for example, this light we're talking about today is called the Xiaomi bedside lamp. It recently became available on Amazon under the Yi Light branding. So, uh, on Amazon, it's called the Yi Light Bedside Lamp. So apparently, all these companies, Xiaomi, Mihai, Yi Light, it's either the same company or same umbrella or something. I don't really know. But on Amazon, it's the Yi Light Bedside Lamp, too. Same exact product, from what I can tell. But on Amazon US, it was about $65 last time I looked. And over on banggood.com, I found the same exact light. This lamp right here, the Xiaomi Bedside Lamp 2, for only $47. So it's almost $20 less over there. The only thing to keep in mind if you're ordering from Banggood or any of these international shipping sites is that shipping can take a while. But again, you may be able to find some good deals or products not available otherwise in your region. So the box actually came in decent condition considering it came all the way from China. Um, of course, the box is written in Chinese, so I really have no idea what it says, but I do recognize this beautiful little logo right here. Works with Apple HomeKit. That's really all I need to see right there. So inside the box, we have the manual, again, all in Chinese, but not completely worthless as it does have some you know, helpful little diagrams you can look at. We have the USB power cord and the North American power supply. And of course, we have the lamp itself. So as you can see, this thing features a, a glossy, opaque type finish. It kind of reminds me of the Eve Flare that I did a review on a while back, uh, except this is a lot more glossy, but it has that similar kind of opaque look to it. Now the HomeKit codes are visible both on the documentation as well as the bottom of the lamp itself. Now it connects via 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, uh, so no hub is needed. So this kind of opaque plastic material creates a really soft, saturated, even color across the whole lamp itself so that you don't see any hot spots or anything like that when this is on. It features these buttons on the actual device, which is really nice. These are touch buttons, so you don't get any actual physical feedback, but uh, they do have the LEDs. There is the power button at the bottom. You have this really nice slider to adjust the brightness here in the middle. And on the top, you have a button that switches the colors or the mode. So a single tap will switch the color and then a long press will switch the mode. So essentially there's two modes, that being the color mode and the white mode. So if you're in the white mode and you single tap that button, it'll cycle through different uh, temperature warmths, like a bright white to more of a warm white. And if you're in the color mode, it'll cycle through different colors. And you can actually set which colors it cycles through in the Yi Light app, which is pretty cool. It's actually pretty bright when you crank the brightness all the way up. It, I was surprised to see that it does light up a dark, a, you know, a small dark room pretty well. I kind of went into this comparing this with the uh, Vocal Link Flower Bud. It's a diffuser, but it has a mood light on it, and I use that in my bedroom. 
So I was kind of comparing it to that and the flower bud is a really cool product and I do love that. This is actually more than just a mood light. This is a lamp. It can light up a room or a section of a room pretty well. Much brighter than the mood light on that flower bud. And the cool thing about this lamp is that you can actually reduce the brightness all the way down to less than two lumens. So that's pretty rare. Usually these smart lights and LEDs and things are not able to dim that low. In fact, it dims so low that it's really hard to tell that it's even on during the daylight, but you have to turn this on using the night mode, which we'll talk about in the E-Light app. So now let's talk about the app and HomeKit and everything. As far as I can tell, it does work just with HomeKit. I don't think it works with the other voice assistants. Uh, now it does work with the Mi Home app is what I actually set it up with. And it does also work with the E-Light app. I actually kind of prefer the Yeelight app after using both. You can use both of them. Um, I went back and forth. There's no issues there. You can use both, download them both, and try them both out if you want. Let's try the Mi Home app. Oh, look. And as soon as I open the Mi Home app, um, I see that this just pops up. So that's pretty awesome. We'll click pair. So simultaneously press and hold the power button and mode buttons for five seconds until the lamp starts circulating through the colors red, green, and blue. There's a lot of cool settings. You can really do most of this with both apps, I think. I just like the interface of the Yeelight app a little bit better, but it has different things. Of course, you have that night mode that we discussed that sets it really, really, really low. Uh, so that's a cool feature. It has other presets like a romance, candle flicker. It has a flash notify, which is pretty cool. You can set schedules, and these schedules can include the different effects as well. And these schedules can repeat every day or certain days of the week. You can set time so this is great for like a kid's bedroom or maybe even your bedroom you know if you want the light to cut off after 25 minutes or something you can set these timers in here there's a flow effect where you can choose the different colors and flow from one color to another and you can change the speeds all that stuff is really cool you can set favorites uh, that can also include these effects as well there is a music flow feature in the Yeelight app, which I was never able to get to work, so I'm not really gonna talk about that. So to set it up in HomeKit, you just tap add new accessory in the Home app, scan your HomeKit code, and it connects really easily. Um, of course, in HomeKit, you're just gonna get the settings that you would get with any HomeKit colored light. Now, one really cool thing I wanted to point out is that the Mi Home app and actually the Yeelight app support Siri shortcuts. Uh, so you might wonder what's the benefit of that if the light works in HomeKit. Well, you can actually take advantage of some of these added features and effects using shortcuts. Now, this is where you're definitely going to benefit using the Mi Home app. As of now, the Yeelight app only gives you on and off control with shortcuts. Now, with the Mi Home app, you can add Siri shortcuts that turns it on and off, uh, sets timers for it to turn off after a while. You can uh, set the light, the brightness. You can include these favorites and effects which is really cool. So you can set a shortcut that takes advantage of that night mode and include that in maybe your good night shortcut. For example, I have a shortcut that I run every night that does a lot of things, uh, gets the weather events as well as sets my home kit scenes and stuff. And so I can include this and that and it can turn on that night light to that really dim mode. You can also uh, use the flashlight, the candle flicker, and things like that in your series shortcuts. So as you can see, this light is pretty cool. Uh, it, I have not had any connection issues with it so far. It has stayed connected to HomeKit in the time that I have used it. Has some really cool effects. Has support for Siri shortcuts. If you're looking for, you know, a versatile lamp that looks good, has some really nice features, is really bright, has some real good color saturation. I don't think you'll be disappointed with this one. Again, I'll put links in the description if you want to check this out from either Amazon or, or uh, Banggood or wherever. If you have any questions, you know, there's anything that I forgot to mention or I left out, drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer. If you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other people find these videos. Again, we're dropping new HomeKit videos every Sunday right here. So if you have not subscribed and you're into HomeKit, please do so. Click the bell icon so you don't miss out when we post new HomeKit videos every week. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next week, we will see y'all later.